this is Elena. Elena just moved to a new city, and honestly, she's feeling pretty great about it. Elena, what do you like about Seattle? Oh, wow. I love the skyline. I love the parks and farmers markets. And I love that you don't have to go far to be in some incredibly beautiful places. Those are all great things. And they're part of what's made this area attractive to newcomers. In fact, lots of people are moving to cities across central Puget Sound. Estimates are that 1.8 million people will be moving to this area in the next 30 years. That's the equivalent to over two more Seattles. That's a lot of people. How do we manage for that? Good question. Have you heard of TDR or Transfer of Development Rights? Right. Most people haven't. At its core, TDR aims to manage growth in urban places while avoiding sprawling out onto our open spaces, like our farms and forests. How does it do that? In a couple ways, actually. You mentioned you love farmer's markets, right? Yes, I do. I buy the most amazing flowers and broccoli and the most delicious cheese. Wow, that does look good. Okay, so as the population grows, many farmers face strong pressure to sell their land to developers. TDR lets farmers stay in agriculture by paying them not to build up their property. Once farmers sell their development rights, the land is permanently conserved for farmland or open space. And according to farmer Leanne Cranick, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Leanne and her husband Mike run Cranick Dairy in Enumclaw, Washington. They sold their development rights in 2017. The funds that we received from selling the development rights helped us pay off the mortgage and it also helped us make much needed improvements that benefited the land that we farmed and our animals. We still own our farm, we can still farm it, and it keeps it a farm forever. So where do the development rights go? Well, as the name TDR implies, they're transferred to use elsewhere primarily in our cities where transportation options, jobs, parks, and schools already exist. The basic idea, if we build in our cities, we won't build on lands we want to protect. Developer Greg Johnson explains. Seattle limits its building heights as part of its zoning regulations. But in areas of the city where it wants to encourage growth, like downtown, you're able to gain additional height through the purchase of TDRs. For example, in our Rainier Square project, we gained an additional 12 stories, which on the flip side, conserved over 14,000 acres of land. Another benefit of TDR to urban residents is that cities get more money specifically for infrastructure that supports growth. All this sounds pretty smart, actually. Is it a totally new thing? The first local TDR deals go all the way back to 1996, but the program has seen dramatic acceleration over the past few years. The regional sustainability organization for Terra, along with King, Pierce, Snohomish, and Kitsap counties, have together created the largest transfer of development rights program in the country. The partnership spans all of central Puget Sound and includes cities like Tacoma, Bellevue, Sammamish, Shoreline, Mount Lake Terrace, Normandy Park, plus Seattle, Everett, Issaquah, Arlington, Redmond, and Snohomish so far. That's a lot. What will it all add up to? as many as 650,000 acres could be conserved, in part thanks to a regional marketplace Forterra has organized for the buying and selling of TDRs. All of it will help keep this a special place because you want to make this your home, don't you? I do, yeah. <laughs>